All right, man, so look, we came across another crazy video. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, let's get into this crazy, crazy video. Uh, Kim Kardashian is part Armenian. Is it okay for her to wear cornrows? I personally think that it depends on what boundaries that culture has set. So I can speak for black culture. The reason why, you know, some of us are offended and have problems with white women wearing braids is because it's documented. Black women are getting fired from their jobs for wearing braids. We are called ghetto. We are not seen as professional with our natural cultural hairstyles that are part of black culture. And then when white women wear them, they are glorified, praised, and even sometimes have the credit attributed to them. So that discrepancy is what, where the issue comes into play. If I could respond to that, I think you can speak for yourself as an individual as far as whether or not you are offended by something, but you can't speak on behalf of the entire black culture. There are exactly. That, that, that's why I was finna go. I was finna go the same exact path because, first of all, I, this cultural appropriation thing, bro, it's, it's just stupid. Okay, the fact, that they can, they even have, uh, the fact that they even have to have a conversation on cultural appropriation is stupid within itself. There's so many different things going on in today's society, and we're worried about a cultural appropriation because another person wears something that's normally normally uh, a black person will wear. The fact that she's wearing braids don't have nothing to do with anything. She just liked the hairstyle, so she said, I'm going to try it on myself. What is the problem with that? For example, I don't know if this is a good example or not, but I'm going to say it anyways. I wear turbans. Okay, so after doing a little deeper research, apparently Sikhs, okay, I think that's, I believe that's how you pronounce it. They are the ones that wear turbans and Takiya is what uh, I believe Muslims wear. I, I just did a little bit of research because I was like, I, look, okay, it's a lot of things I'm learning. It's I'm not really up to date with all the religions and all that. Like, I just know that I'm just a follower of Jesus Christ. That's all I know. But anyways, no disrespect to any other religion out there. I'm just, you know, I'm just clarifying what I really meant, okay? But anyways, finish on the video. Does that mean that I'm Muslim? No, it doesn't mean that. Does that mean that I glorify Muhammad? No, it does not mean that at all. But I like turbans and I like the style of it and I wear it because it's just something I like to wear. I feel like that doesn't, it, it shouldn't have to do with anything. I'm a Christian. And if people ask me I'm Muslim, I'm going to tell them, no, I'm not. I am a Christian, but at the end of the day, I like the style of a tur of a turban. It's not me disrespecting their religion or whatever they have going. It's not me disrespecting. It's because I like the style, so I'm gonna wear it on myself because I feel like I can rock it. Simple as that. And I feel like if a white woman feel like she can rock braids, she can rock braids. Justin Bieber wife. I didn't even know the man was married, but yes, his wife. I guess she outlined her lips or something. Or did something, and black people was going at her neck. Oh, this is a cultural appropriation. Like, it's just stupid, bro. It's on stupid. Cultural appropriation is the stupidest topic that you could ever talk about in today's society, especially when there's so many other things to be talking about. There's so many other things wrong with today's society, and this is what y'all focused on. We'll never be. I, I, I came to the conclusion that we'll never be united. No matter what president we have, no matter what we have, we will never be united in today's world, okay? Because everybody always got something. There's always something. If it ain't one thing, it's another plenty of black people who watched what Kim Kardashian did and thought the braids looked absolutely fine. And they again, I do bad. think imitating is flattery. She didn't step up and say that she's invented the hairstyle. If people attribute that to her, that's something that you do on an individual basis. I feel like it's important to understand the difference between imitating and actually appropriating. So imitating is like, you like my nails, you go do it, you copy it, imitate. She liked your hair, she went to go do it. Imitating, okay. You like my shoes, buy the same shoes. Sure. Appropriating is when you are copying something of a culture that is not yours and you are, it's inappropriate. You are disrespecting the boundary that that culture has set. If I copied your shoes tomorrow because I like them, would that not be appropriation? I have not set a boundary against you about the shoes I wear. I don't face discrimination or racism because of the shoes that I wear. So if I, as a biracial half black woman, go to Kim Kardashian and say, you know what, that's not a boundary that I've set for you. You may wear cornrows and I am essentially- I'm sorry, I'm grown and at the end of the day, nobody's gonna set a boundary for me to not do a certain thing. You feel me? I, I'm not, because I never once said that I was disrespecting the culture. I never once said that. I never said that by me wearing this, I am going to disrespect this culture. No, I never once came out and said that out of my mouth. Just because I wear something does not mean I'm disrespecting your culture. It simply means I like this, so I'm going to wear it. I'm grown. 
I am in America. I am in the land of the free. So if I want to go out and wear a turban, you can you can make all the assumptions you want to make. You could think I'm Muslim. You could think I'm a, uh, I worship Muhammad. You could think all these different things. But the end of the day, if I didn't personally say it out my mouth, then it's not true. Okay, it's not true that I'm that I'm this or I'm that or I'm disrespecting the culture. No, I just like the style. I like the style of a turban, so I like to wear them. I like the style of if a, if a, if a, um if a white boy has good hair, you know what I'm saying? If he has some type of uh, if he have uh, hair and he has waves, I'm not going to sit there and say, "Oh, you're disrespecting the culture of black people." You know that we we the ones that really wear waves and this and like no. He like he liked the waves, so he wanted to get waves himself. It's not disrespecting culture. If they didn't say that they, they uh, if they did not say that they're disrespecting your culture, then they're not disrespecting your culture. Y'all gotta accept that, bro. We are in the land of the free. We are in America, and even some people that's not in America. At the end of the day, I believe that we still can do what we want to do. If I want to do this, I could do this myself. Actually, a black person who has told her, "I don't have that boundary." Is it then wrong for her to well, wear the braids the next day? That <laughs> that comes into play. You're going to, if you do that, you're going to ignore the, do, like, there's countless documentation of a lot of black women being, like, discriminated and, and experiencing racism because of braids. So by doing that, you're kind of just dissing and ignoring the black women that are struggling with this issue, especially because you have to think, Kim Kardashian has an extremely large platform. Mm -hmm. So what she does, her fans see as law and see as she can do no wrong. <laughs> Shout out to unap uh, unapologetic, but um, my my whole take on this whole situation with cultural appropriation. Now I I understand what both of them is saying. Okay, I get it. I I understand it. People have their own different point of views. Simple as that. But at the end of the day, like I said, look, if you if you say that black women are getting fired because of braids, you like like she said, you have to speak as an individual of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because me personally, my mom wear braids. She wear all type of different hairstyles and she never got fired from no job because of the hairstyle that she wears. So I don't know personally any black women who got fired because of their braids. Now, I know women who got fired because they didn't want to put their hair up into a ponytail. Like, OK, for example, if you're working in the factory, you can't have your hair down because it can get caught in a conveyor belt. It can get caught in something. And and they don't want to they don't want to get sued for that. So you have to wear your hair up. And I feel like it's always appropriate to wear your hair up at any job. You feel me? Any job. I believe it's just appropriate to wear your hair up. Now, I know women who got fired because they didn't want to follow the rules on those boundaries. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know personally any black women who got fired because they didn't because they wore braids. I believe that you can sue a company if they fire you because of your skin color or because of the hairstyle that you're wearing. Now, unless they come out and say, and it's in the and it's in the rules that say you cannot wear this this hairstyle, but they say this for everybody, not just you. You cannot wear braids. You cannot wear this. You cannot wear that. But you wear braids anyways. Now that's a different story. But if you just go out and go into the real world, have a good job, and you wear braids to your job, I don't think they will fire you because of your hair. I believe that you can sue a company if they do that. All the, it's just like. It's just feel like you playing victim and you don't want a white woman to is you I feel like are you jealous because uh Kim Kardashian rocked the hairstyle better than you did? Because I feel like this shouldn't even be a, a, a topic. This shouldn't even be no conversation. Don't granted, don't don't braids look good on Kim Kardashian. The braids that you had in your head look good on you. But at the end of the day, it's not no cultural appropriation. She All she's doing is wear something that she thought that looked good on somebody else. So she said, I'm going to try it myself. Simple as that. Bro, we can do what we want to do, man. Y'all got to accept that, bro. I, seriously, y'all got to accept it, man. But y'all hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, man. So, um, follow your boy on IG. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.